Hey everybody, James Yeager with Tactical Response. Thanks for watching. Um, so, <laughs> year end, right? 2021's finally over. What a goddamn dumpster fire that was. And uh, so I queried my friends, alumni, people on Patreon, and my, my members here on YouTube. If you want to become a member on YouTube, there's a link that says join. I don't mean a subscriber. I mean a channel member for behind the scenes stuff. Uh, so, um, ask them about, hey, what would you like to know about our year and stuff? And so people just started asking. And here I go with some of my best stuff from 2021. Um, Jerry, uh, my instructor, says uh, and a, a tremendous increase in people taking medical classes. Well, that's great. People should. Um, it should and with the uh, scarcity and cost of ammo those people didn't say well I'm not going to train they said well what would be some training I need anyway that I don't have to spend a bunch of money on ammo medical class and so uh, not I mean it wasn't like oh we made all our money on medical classes but a significant number of more people attended those so that was that was great uh, for me, best motorcycle trips. I took two great trips this year. I took several trips. Uh, one was with my brother. We got some uh, KLR 650 Kawasaki Dual Sports and um, rode around gravel roads and stuff like that over in East Tennessee and, and actually in West Tennessee too. Um, had, had a good time just hanging out with my bro riding around that was great and then probably the best motorcycle no not probably the best motorcycle trip of my life we uh, rode and you guys might saw the pictures of us riding in the snow the videos and snow and all that out west in october apparently if you go to the mountains in october there's snow out there uh, but we rode uh, from raton new mexico uh, down through capitol reef national park and all that and then back through Fish Lake and uh, just all over the place and head to Colorado, New Mexico. Just a fantastic ride um, with a great bunch of guys. It was, it was just great. Um, best gift uh, is, is here is handy a minute ago. Uh, Clint Smith gave me a sword, uh, an Okatana. And, um, you know, people, um, you know, like, oh, is it expensive or whatever? Um, it's a good sword, but no, not expensive. Uh, but um, it was the gift. You know, the, the, the absolutely. I mean, he could have given me anything, uh, but that sword was special to me. He knew that sword would be special to me, so that meant a lot to me. Um, people ask, best gun. I don't know if uh, best gun is a good category. What What is best? You know what I'm saying? But that um, that 7.5 millimeter pistol I shot, I'm gonna shoot some more. It's, it was certainly the most unique and interesting gun that I shot in 2021, and you'll be seeing more of it for sure. Um, we had um, I thought it was 5,001, but Marilyn did her final tally, and we had 5,013 students in 2021 thank all of you guys and girls thank you so much uh 25 this is the end of my 25th year and the, the end of the 25th year is uh 88,000 students 88,000 um we had a significant number more women taking classes now uh still not a big percentage of our enrollments are women but we probably saw two or three times as many women taking classes. So that was cool. Um, somebody asked what was the best time I had. Uh, my family, my daughters and sons-in-laws and grandkids rented a cabin up in East Tennessee in the mountains for Christmas, and it was fantastic. Um, people asked my favorite TV show. Probably like a lot of folks, uh, Yellowstone. I like it a lot. Um, I mean, I like the other ones, Hawkeye and Loki and several other ones. But um, favorite movie, uh, Nobody. Um, 
And when I do these things, I try to remember what movies, because people tend to think of their memories, well, I see the last two months, but I'm trying to think of the whole year. And uh, I like the Spider-Man movie, but nobody I like more. Um, people ask me what my favorite meal was. Well, uh, that's kind of tough, but uh, certainly uh, Mexican out in Arizona, and I cannot pronounce the place, but my, my Mexican, my Arizona students, they ate with us will know when I say the cheese place. <laughs> they don't know exactly what I'm talking about, but it's more than the food. You know, I sat there with a great bunch of people, friends, um, you know, just a great bunch of folks. It's just it's a great time. Um, most unfavorite meal is when uh, Fat Nuts ordered cold cobbler and ice cream. Cold? Who fucking orders cold cobbler with their ice cream like even the waitress is like what you know like so that was during our motorcycle ride i think no that was during our teaching trip and we almost left him behind like hmm. uh, um best conversation well i wasn't even really a part of the conversation but clint smith kind of mentoring my son-in-law joey about teaching um during the, our time up there was just um, fantastic and Clint has invited Joey to come back and hang out for a few weeks which means 50% indentured servitude uh, which is fine and 50% telling him smart shit so definitely worth it um, uh, best dad moment this kind of coordinates with one of Heather's great things for the year um my daughter Heather, who is turning into quite the little farmer, uh, learned how to not only drive a tractor, but by herself hook up all the implements. The uh, bush hog. And the other day, she went by herself, not with no real help, uh, you know, as far as that goes, no technical help. How about that? And hooked up the bush hog and mowed and bush hog in there, and um, just I'm super proud of her for that. And, and uh, she submitted that. And, um, uh, best grandpa moment. I, I don't know if there's a single, one single moment that is the best on that, but uh, I love them all. Um, I can't, I couldn't narrow it down to one thing, you know, um, but I'm sure it goes back to that cabin at Christmas. Um, best book. Uh, you guys know I love the Jack Carr books, so <clears throat> that's what's probably, you know, Savage Son uh, was awesome. And um, um, and then right now, my wife and I are reading, listening to um, Partisan President, part of the Black Autumn series. And we like the whole series, and this is just another chapter to that. Um so, I forgot to get the numbers from Maryland, but hundreds and hundreds of kids got back to school supplies. Uh, the whole, an entire Big Sandy school that needed them and then other people uh, because you guys helping with that school drive. Um, Toys for Tots, 100% because of you guys. Toys for Tots gave us nothing except enough books to fit on the top of this table um, uh, for the kids. Uh, there would have been no toys. Uh, you guys got toys for 521 kids. Only one toy. You guys got a bag, a bag of toys for 521 kids. I mean, you guys are awesome. Um, Joey and Brian said, kind of putting theirs together, Basically, this is their first year teaching. So the big road trip we took, Thunder Ranch, hang out with Clint, sign certificates, teaching folks, that was pretty much their their big you know, thing for the year. And it's, it's a big thing. And so that wraps up 2021 for us. Our 2022 schedule is on there. And I just want to thank all of you everyone watching the video um thank you for the folks that came to class 
Thank you for people that are subscribed to the channel. Thank you very much. Thank you for the people that have joined the channel as members and get to see the behind the scenes stuff. Thank you for that. You guys that are channel members, tell me what else you want to see. If there's some other aspect of my life that you are interested in, let me know. Um, so the beard, you can see I'm growing up. My wife likes me to have a full beard, so this will be cut down or something here pretty soon. Kind of evened up to make it look like a real beard. But that's all the that's all that's fit to print. 2021 is a wrap. Remember your responsibility to be ready for the fight. And there's a fight coming. Never ends.